rate this tweet. Sometimes I park in an employee's only parking spot just to feel something. I, I take no pleasure in this. Um, I would give that tweet a don't tweet this. I, I resonate with the sentiment and I understand it. I think it needs a little bit more time in the in the cooker personally. Now, if you really wanted to tweet something, you should say sometimes I park in the handicap parking spots just to feel something. And send that one out into the wilderness and see what comes back. <laughs> now we're cooking. I piss in the handicap stall. I subscribe to the curb your th enthusiasm uh, model for how to use bathrooms. If you need to use a stall, and there's three stalls, two of them are not equipped with the bar, one of them is equipped with the bar, you, as an able-bodied individual, you use the non-bar stall. If the two stalls without bars are already in use, then I'm using the handicap stall. I'm not waiting just for the one in 1,000 chance that somebody who comes in and needs it in the 15 seconds that I'm peeing is gonna be like mad at me. I think that what would happen is like when I use the toilet, I came out, they would be like waiting there and I would say sorry and they'd say no problem, it happens all the time and we'd both go about our lives. Also, I use the, my, at many places in, uh, well, the world I would say now, there's like, a men's bathroom, a women's bathroom, and then like one bathroom that is called like universal washroom or like handicap accessible washroom or like family washroom or like whatever. If I'm with my daughter, I yeet that son of a bitch immediately. I go into that every single time. And I think that's what it's meant for. Cause like if my kid has to go to the potty, it's 10 times more annoying to go into the men's room and like find a stall that hasn't had a war crime committed in it and then like clean the toilet stall and then, uh, you know, like get her to sit on the toilet, but the toilet seat is always like too big. So I'm like holding her up so she doesn't fall into the toilet. So I always take that one. And then after she pees, she flushes, she washes her hands while she's washing her hands, I pee. Because I'm like, I don't get this opportunity a lot. <laughs> That's exactly what it's meant for. Let's go. I'm not breaking decorum then. To pee? I mean, if I'm already in a bathroom and you think I'm leaving the bathroom to go into the men's room to then piss at a urinal, you have fragile masculinity. I already, if I'm going in a public bathroom, I pee in the stall 90% of the time. The only time I will pee in a urinal is if I have to go really bad and all the stalls are full. Then I'll pee in a urinal. Otherwise, I'll wait for a stall, man. I don't mind waiting two minutes to, to pee in with some privacy. I, I, I'm like a half joking. I still think it's fucked up that they're building more urinals. Like if you I have a building that was built in the early 20th century and it has urinals, I'm like, fine, whatever. This shit's expensive to fix. You're building a new building and the men's room has urinals and the women's room has stalls. That's actually sexist, okay? It's not like the sushi bit. That's fake sexism. That's actually sexist. You're making the men's facility deliberately worse than the women's facility just to save some money. Men should have stalls just like women. Urinals are more efficient. Maybe you should just whip out your dick and piss on the floor, D.L. Guiga. Oh, that's extreme. That's extreme. Yeah, they're so efficient. Yeah, it's so efficient that like you go up there and you got two dudes with a shy bladder having a Mexican standoff with one another. Fuck, I really hope this guy starts pissing so that the sound of his pissing hides the fact that I haven't started pissing yet. Everyone's probably listening and going, why isn't that? Oh, that guy hasn't started pissing yet. He's been standing there shaking his dangus for like 25 seconds. If they would at least, they don't even have to have a stall, although I think it would be nice like i think we in north america have something wrong with us where we're like no 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 we don't deserve nice things like a korean pair for example but fine okay if you're fucking like we don't deserve it pilled can we at least get 
two brackets and a little divider so that I'm not rubbing shoulders with the, the, the people that I'm pissing next to. Like, at least there's some... I'm not even worried about someone looking down at my thing. Like, I'm not a narcissist about it. But just to have... To be able to put myself in a bubble where I'm like, I feel like I have some privacy would be nice. Even if it's psychosomatic, okay? Your best take yet. Same thing with the men's showers. I got... If, as far as I'm concerned... If you're going into a gym locker room as a man and you're like, I'm not getting naked. I'm going to wear my sweaty ass clothes into my car, get my car all stinky, drive home for 20 minutes and then shower. You do you. But I think that's more weird than getting naked in the room where you're designed to get naked. That being said, the men's showers in the gym are still being built like prison showers with 12 shower heads on the outside perimeter. So when you're washing your back, you're looking at like... 12 pairs of balls and then asses hanging out. And then when you're washing your front, you're like, everybody's looking at my ass hanging out. Can we at least get some stalls or something? It's crazy, man. It's not ancient Rome. Thank you. There's no like uh, hairless man coming around with a big carafe of like scented oils or something like that. It's just hot water and Dove for Men body wash. Can I get some privacy? Had a dude once at the gym locker room use the urinal full naked and then hop in the shower. Full naked at the urinal is crazy. There's no doubt about that. So I, statistically speaking, probably like 5% of chat needs to hear this as well. I'm saying this not to make you feel bad. I'm saying this to save your life. At, when you piss, do not pull your pants down all the way to your knees or God forbid to your ankles. Every, listen, maybe it's habit. I don't know. <laughs> Say like one in five times you see a full row of urinals. There's one dude who's got his pants down around his ankles or his knees, man. You got to, you undo the fly, you, or you undo the button, you unzip the uh, fly, you pull your tackle out, okay? And then here, a little tip just from me, I like to put one thumb between the waistband of my underpants and uh, my testicular region because otherwise I sort of feel like the waistband impinges upon the flow and then I use my other hand for, for aiming and, and flow control. But you only need that, you should not be exposing anything to the back. From the back it should almost look like your pants are fully up. From the front, if someone were to look at you head on, they would be like, Okay, I can see your dick and balls, but that's it. I certainly cannot see the top of your thighs. Now, if you want to just zip the fly and then, you know, serpentine your, your dangus out through the front, that you do you. I honestly find that it takes more time to just do that with the fly, I, like with the zipper. I, I prefer taking the button off and then unzipping there. I also think that you are an insane person if you work your penis out through the fly of your boxers to pee in a public bathroom. Um, those things are like, they have micron precision, okay? That's not what the fly is there for. I know it's a curb bit again. I don't know what the fly <clears throat> on the boxer is there for. I mean, it's a vestige of an earlier time or something like that, but that it's just there for decoration, okay? You know how like girls' jeans had like look like they have pockets? Then when you feel the pockets, you're like you couldn't even put a lifesaver in them? It's like that, okay? It's like the bottom button on a suit. You never use it. Menswear guy from Twitter is here. That's just my two cents on that. But definitely do not pull your your pants all the way down to your ankles or lower. And I you might say why? I'm saying I didn't start the fire, okay? It's always been burning since the world's been turning. I didn't invent this decorum. All I would say is it gives like heavy toddler energy. Oh, here we go. Why are you observing it? I don't know, because I fucking have eyes and the lights are on in the bathroom. Guy, guy doing insane thing. Why are you looking so much? This is fucking right out there, brother. My rods and cones, like... I, I, it's not like I can turn that shit off. They're just passively... <laughs> they're passively working. The older I get... Let me, let me tell you something here, okay? 
<laughs> I have seen the Twitter video of the guy sucking his wife's toes at the stoplight. I don't know what, what relevancy that has, but thank you for reminding me. That's a very funny video. Um, here's how old I am. I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing socks and sandals. If you find it comfortable, more power to you. Who cares what, you know, some 17-year-old kids are going to say about your outfit? You own property. You know, you, you got a spouse. You know, you're, you're out there doing some yard work or something. You're shopping for new jockeys. Like, just live your life, okay? But I am not so old that I understand men who are keeping the socks on during intercourse. That just does not make sense to me. You took, like, it's not like you are doing it clothed. You took everything off but the socks. Like, if you were, like, if you left your shirt on and then your socks, I guess I would be like, I kind of get it. But if you, like, took your shirt off, your pants off, your underwear off, but <laughs> then you, put, you left your socks on, what are you doing? Now, notice I only said for men, okay? There's a difference. And again, I didn't start the fire. Well, God forbid. What, you know what would be even funnier? Guy who takes his hat off, then takes his shirt off, but then puts his hat back on. And has his socks on. I just, I, I still don't understand. Like, socks and sandals. I mean, these are different things, but socks and sandals are easy to understand. You got socks on, you want to go outside, you don't want to bother tying a shoe. You're like, I got sandals, what am I going to do? Spend 10 seconds taking my socks off to put my sandals on so like a teenager doesn't make fun of me when I'm buying overnight oats? No, you just run socks and sandals, you fucking go to the store, and then if they laugh at you, you just show them like how much equity you have in your home. And then they'll go home and post about it on social media. This isn't fair, blah, 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 blah. But the socks during intercourse simply doesn't make sense to me. If you've already gone through the trouble of, of taking everything else off, the socks have to go because a man that's completely naked but just with socks on is just like a very funny image to me. It's, it's in my opinion, is not the most flattering outfit for a man to wear. I get cold feet. Brother, the blood is pumping. Like, if anything, you should be maybe like a little bit too warm during that. You should... <laughs> you are so straight. What are you talking about? I don't know. Is this... Maybe, I, I, you're right. Unfortunately. Maybe it makes it hard to understand. Somebody, you know, from a different star or a different stripe, tell me. If you're gay, are you like, nah, it's based when a man wears socks during sex? All I can think of, with God as my witness, you saying that man keeps his socks on during sex, I'm picturing like Rudy Giuliani. That's it. That's, it's the only image that comes to mind. It's like a man who, like the second to last piece of clothing that he takes off is like uh, his suspenders. And then like his pantaloons fall down. And then he's got like dress socks on, you know, like those really thin, soft socks. He probably just took off a dress shirt that is like blue and it has the white collar and the white cuffs. I mean, while he was taking his shirt off, he had to like undo his cufflinks first and then... I'm, I'm sure that's not it 100% of the time, but that's how it feels to me. Fucking weird ass undershirt, so true. <laughs> I love it when he becomes Mario. His name's Mario and he bounces on the shells. Some of these levels are hotter than the hotter than the hells. And when he spins, he can survive a spiny shell. Mario, Rio, please do better, please do well. Don't <laughs>